All right, our final finalist, our last finalist is MS Biotics from Houston, Texas. MS Biotics developed an autonomous IoT solution to detect, track, count, and locate surgical items within the operating room in real time. This effectively automates the surgical counting process while providing downstream analytics regarding instrument utilization. MNS Biotics, the floor is yours. Having a kidney transplant opened my eyes to the inefficiencies in the operating room. And ever since having that procedure, I wanted to create a more efficient, effective, and safer one. And we're doing that through the use of proprietary RFID technology and data insights. If I were to encapsulate all my anxiety of having that procedure, it looked like this. This is a retained surgical item left behind at the conclusion of a procedure, and the only way to prevent it right now is by manually counting these items before, during, and after each procedure. And unfortunately, it's very time consuming, so much so that 20% of operative time is spent count counting these items. And the human element involved in this process leads to one in eight surgeries having a counting discrepancy. But what if you could automate it? Well, if you could, and you can remove minimally 15 minutes per procedure at $75 a minute, you could save a hospital up to $170,000 a week, but it's only half the problem. The other half is that less than 20% of the instruments brought into the operating room are even utilized during the course of that procedure. You still have to clean, sterilize, and process them, but they're not used. And studies have gone on to show that if you can reduce surgical sets for complex cases alone by 70%, you could save a hospital up to $2.8 million in one year. And that's a value prop, improving instrument utilization by up to 80% and driving operating room efficiency by 20%, and here's how. We do that by introducing one of the first autonomous RF solutions to the operating room. Now, what I mean by autonomous is it doesn't require any manual effort, nor does it disrupt current operating workflow. And that's key because that's a huge detraction from what competitors offer today. This system gives us the ability to detect, track, count, and locate surgical items inside the operating room in real time and transmit that information wirelessly to a tablet so that staff could ident identify any of these items' locations at any given time during that procedure. And that effectively automates the surgical counting process. But being that the system's autonomous, it allows us to passively collect data points related to instrument utilization. We provide downstream insights that track instrument utilization by surgeon and by case, turn that over to supply chain so they could optimize those sets, thus reducing the amount of instruments being deployed to the field. We're, inter uh, we're moving into the US hospital market, and there's a key regulation that came out. The FDA came out in 2016 and said all items need to be uniquely identifiable by 2021. And we're located in Houston, Texas as the first US-based startup to partner with Johnson Johnson Center for Device Innovation that provides both direct and indirect resources to startup to uh, startups that are coming through with the next game-changing technologies to expedite that commercialization. And that precipitated a $50,000 purchase order from Johnson & Johnson in which we're demonstrating our MVP at the end of, later this year. We have great traction and letter supports, partnerships, pilots, and pending deal flow. And we're deploying a uh, product as a service business model. When we look at our competition, they all require manual intervention to use. We're fully autonomous, and because of that, we can focus on the data insights we provide, which allows us to offset the cost of hardware. We have a great, great team, and right now we have an open round if you're interested in investing, but have $1.6 million already funded, along with an NIH grant. Thank you for the time. Spot on, Joshua. Good job. Thank you. All right, I'm going to open it up to our panel of esteemed judges. Josh, as I suspected, you would have the first question. Yeah, I love this, right? I'm curious, I guess, two real quick questions. You flew by your business model. Could you could you go through your, your business model again and then help me understand the competitive market? Is it just the RTLS solutions you're competing with and that's how you're, you're differentiated? Uh, so to answer the first one, the business model is we take the past five years of surgical volume, the number of operating rooms, and length of contract. That allows us to dictate the price in between $2,500 and $7,500 per OR per month. It's just meant to be flexible for big hospitals and small hospitals. And we're not in the real-time locating system. We're actually focusing on interoperative analytics, data insights that lead to actionable change outside of the operating room. Being that we're the only autonomous solution, being backed by J&J, we're going, to be tre we're going to be growing this market as a you know, full provider. Um, so those, those are the two answers to those questions. All right, other questions for Joshua. Brian. When you say autonomous, are, is it like a field or are you physically, do you have to tag every instrument before surgery or so, so, you explain that? 
Uh, of course. So one, yes, the instruments are tagged, but the key here is that, you know, RFID is becoming a global initiative for companies like Johnson & Johnson where they're being embedded at the point of manufacturing. We're just a system that leverages that move. And that's all precipitated from that FDA regulatory standpoint of things. All items need to be uniquely identifiable. We come in, and if you can see from this picture, we retrofit pre-existing space. So it's the back table, the mayo, the operating table, all that's integrated seamlessly. So no workflow uh, disruption. It's all happened behind the scenes. If you're a nurse or a doctor, you wouldn't even know it's there. Very good. Thank you. Other questions for Joshua? All right. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. Great job. We appreciate you, uh, your pitch and, uh, and the Q&A.